finally in the early parts of fall. So we've been trying to do all the fall things. We have been wrapping up the garden. You want a banana? You want this? This week I hope to finish saving some of our seeds from our flowers from the garden and whatever else we want to save um, and get ready for fall. We've got some pumpkins out in the house that I'm using for decorating and so I'm very very excited for this season. Got my fall clothes together already. My fall wardrobe I've just got to pick out 
a few more things that I need. I actually didn't need much this year. And so every cooler season and warmer season, I like to do a new wardrobe, kind of like a capsule wardrobe is what I've called it in the past, but I don't really go by any rules. So um, I have one hutch for me and a dresser for my daughter. And then my husband just kind of does his own thing. I don't do his. And so I like to do a spring and summer wardrobe and a fall and winter wardrobe for me and my daughter. It just makes getting dressed a lot easier, keeping laundry up a lot easier. And so I started that for myself. A few more things that I need to get this week. And then I'm gonna get started on hers this week as well, hopefully. Now, so far this week, we have made apple cider. I have a recipe up on my blog for like a slow cook apple cider, which isn't really how you would make like a traditional apple cider. So this year, I really wanted to find a way to get as close to like a pressed apple cider rather than like a slow cooked one. I wanted to figure out a way to get as close to that as I could without a cider press, and so, really the only option other than a cider press that you buy or I've seen some people even make some. The closest thing I've come across is, you know, just blending it or putting it through a food processor and straining out a little bit of pulp, a little bit of juice and doing it that way. So we did that this week.
aftermath of cider making. <laughs> Now today, it is a gloomy fall day. It looks like the sun is trying to come out, so it may get sunnier, but we had a storm try to blow through, which Lord help us, we need some rain. We have been in a drought pretty much all summer, and then we got rain and it cleared up, and then we're back in a drought again. We have burn bans, all of that, and so, we really needed the rain and we've just gotten some sprinkles the last few days. Well, it looked really gloomy and stormy this morning. I had high hopes for a good storm to come through and get us some water, um, get us out of this drought, but it looks like it sprinkled and then missed us. But since it's glo a gloomier day, I have been working on my beloved couch this morning and um, the baby is over visiting with her grandpa and great grandpa and so so I am on my own right now I'm going to work on this I'm trying to get this done today I've been working on it on the porch but I decided now that I've kind of started getting it pulled back together I've brought it inside to work on it it'll be a lot easier to work on it um, and I'm almost done I don't remember how much of this I've shared but I know that I've talked about this couch in an antique haul. I may have shared little bits and pieces on vlogs, I can't remember, but I have gotten everything out of it. I've restuffed it and added some new upholstery, and so I'm about to stuff the back of it. This is completely done, this bottom part. I'm about to stuff the back here where it's a little more comfortable, and then all I gotta do is cover the actual back of the couch and then it'll be done I plan to use this for some seasonal photos for Isla family pictures around the farm and um, then it'll be in the house I don't know where we're gonna keep it right now in the house probably in our bedroom just because we're limited on space but eventually this will go in our living room as a decorative piece uh, we will still have like a regular couch that's more like, you know, relax, you relax on, but this will be really pretty in there. And when that time comes and I know more of what style our living room is going to take on or what colors, I mean, I kind of know because I stick to the same stuff all the time. Um, but once I have more of a clear vision on what it's going to look like, I may either dye this fabric or just cover, this is like a drop cloth, canvas drop cloth. So, um, I may just cover this again, reupholster, but not pull it all off, just use this as a base and then cover it with a prettier fabric. Or I may try the, um, like you can dye it with chalk paint. I've seen a lot of that on YouTube and on the internet. And so I may try that on this. I also have another couch that's very similar to this one. Uh, that is more of like a velvet but it's a faded pink and it just looks kind of rough we haven't gotten that one from my in-laws yet but that one may also be painted and I have no idea where that one's gonna go yet so these will be in the new farmhouse once we get moved in for now they're gonna mostly be used for like seasonal photos family photos and then um, it'll probably sit in our bedroom until it is ready to be moved. But that's what we have going on today. I don't know what else this week holds or what today even holds. Uh, I have a couple of fall crafts I'm gonna do with Isla. I need to finish this. We are still dealing with the goat barn. It is just, every time we fix something, it seems like something else needs some work. So I have the final idea of how I want that barn to be. It's just a matter of getting it done. And then um, ooh, some other things. Of course, we're doing our regular chores and all of that. And we are hoping to start on our interior walls in the farmhouse this week. So lots of exciting things. Hopefully lots of fall fun. We'll see. I am ready to bring y'all along. So like a goofball, I stapled this back fabric down before I finished the back. And so then 
I pulled it through and stapled it to the bottom. So by doing that, I can't uh, pull the front fabric through to stuff the rest of the back and cover it up. So I'm having to remove all the staples that I put in just like two seconds ago. the baby was here there's like multitudes of toys okay. also pulling up YouTube videos does anyone else do this YouTube videos or podcasts listen to while work on this. And this is started. Old World Home Today Hillary my, like, at Old World Home. Tidy up, so she I does like Vlogtober. She does I'm all kinds right now, of the like so daily like, vlog things. The she does them. Still this is day twelve.
apple cider donuts for dinner tonight. It was really good. And now we are working on the farmhouse. I ran to get a saw that we forgot. But we're hoping to finish up the exterior walls so that this weekend we can start on the interior walls. We have one wall left that we're trying to fix and then we will be ready to go. So that's what we're doing now. I'm hoping I can also show some of my fall wardrobe because that's another fall thing that I've been doing this week. So I'm hoping I can show some of my fall wardrobe um, one day this week to you guys. Okay, so I am down here at the farmhouse that I have on my outfit for today and I wanna show part of my capsule wardrobe for fall and winter. I'm really excited about it. I love doing this twice a year and so um, I just want to show you what I'm wearing really quick at a weird time and I'm going to hurry. So my main I guess concept for this is sweaters paired with some form of denim like jeans or a dress and then also have a denim jacket to wear and a few other pieces but the main outfit is either a dress or skirt or jeans with sweaters it's my favorite thing to wear during fall and winter so that's what I have chosen for this and so this is just a fall colored floral print dress and a white sweater over the top and then I just have on cowboy boots that's like a staple so just cowboy boots paired with that <laughs> are you ready to work on the house your hair is half your hair got taken out did you pull your hair out yes you did no, only half your hair is pulled back always finding the sticks. The top and bottom of this house. Can you take that whole box to daddy? Good job. Take it around there. Get to daddy. Put your feet. Oh, that's a big helper. That's a big helper, bud. Good job. Knuckle bust. Good job. <laughs> Right there. What are you doing, little lady? Your Isla? Do you like to build? You do? Mama. Look at Mama and say cheese. You look at Mama and say cheese. Yeah. Isla. Isla. Look at Mama and say cheese. Dada, you need screw? Yeah. 